made it to Changi Airport. We are flying out today to Kota Kinabalu, which is in Borneo. So we have about a two and a half hour flight to get there. Uh, we're arriving there around about eight o'clock at night, so yeah, not, not too bad going. So super excited about Borneo. Um, we've got some things lined up that we really do want to see. Of course, orangutans would have to be one of the ones on the list. Um, and don't really know a lot about the country, so looking forward to um, delving a little bit more into the culture and the history and the food and just really pretty much everything that we usually do in most of the countries that we're travelling to. So, on to the next chapter. So the trick is when we're flying is that we are always just about at the furthest boarding gate that you can possibly get to. I don't know what it is about that. So the trick is to start off early to board. So we're walking and walking and walking. Do you know where we're going Scott? C15. Right. It was C11, now it's C15. Oh! Now, now like, we'll probably get to C15 has changed to C1. Which is even further away. Yeah. Excellent. So it's all good. Thank God for travelators, that's all I can say. <laughs> if I don't fall over. Uh. We've arrived. Scott, where have we arrived? Kotu Kanabalu. Kota Kanabalu. Kota Kanabalu. I'll get it. It's a lot easier to say in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Sabah in Borneo. We've arrived. We just need to wait for our bags to come out and then we are on our way to our hotel. Because it's really, really busy here. <laughs> this is the second busiest airport in Malaysia, I read. Uh, mm. No, I think we're the only plane in. Customs was really quick. That was the bonus. Okay, as mentioned earlier, we have arrived in Kota Kinabalu, um, which is the main city in Borneo. Uh, we've made it to our hotel that we booked through <laughs> bookings.com. Just to paint a little picture, we have been house and pet sitting in Singapore for the last 12 days, 12 days, 12 or 13 mm -hmm. days. And um, we had a beautiful two-storied house there to look after. Uh, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a large office and a big multimedia room. <laughs> and I'll just give you a little tour of our hotel room. Well, that won't take long. <laughs> <laughs> There's Scott, and I'm just standing in one place, and there's a TV on the wall, and there's our beard, and our little window, which outside looks down to the, to markets. the markets. Quite mm -hmm. a famous food market in Kota Kinabalu, which is what we wanted. And if you just give me one second, I will show you our bathroom. This, <clears throat> this is our bathroom with the toilet. And if you just cast your eye up there, oh, the there's the shower. Shower. You have to move the rubbish then. Toilet. Toilet. Hmm. Shower. <laughs> That's handy. Yes, we might need to move the rubbish bin so that it doesn't get wet. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the grand tour of our hotel room. And let's go and get some coke for my bourbon. <laughs> Lemonade for my vodka. That will help us sleep tonight. <laughs> it's very quiet. We're on the third floor. I think he's given us the penthouse suite. And it's sort of been like a, a, an add-on from a veranda, I think. But look, there's air conditioning, there's TV, TV, and we've got a little view. Hang on, I might try and see if I can get you to see outside. Right, this is me poking the camera out the window. This, oh, hang on, squeeze, oh, this is what we look down onto. These are the markets. Boom, right there. Right on our doorstep. How awesome is that? Welcome to Kota Kinabalu. So today is our first day of exploring at Kota Kinabalu. Uh, it's 
just easier to say KK because that's what it is um, locally known as and also over in mainland Malaysia. Um, KK is the capital of the state of Sabah, um, which is what this area in Borneo is, is known as. So we're out and about. Um, KK has got a population of around 500,000 people and we're going to be walking the Heritage Trail and um, taking in some of the sites today. As with the start of any journey, always has to be fed, always has to be food involved and we've just stopped for breakfast and coffees are coming. Hey, coffees have arrived. Okay, and here we have the oldest structure in KK. It's the clock tower built in 1905. Here you go, here's your history lesson for today. I didn't rush to see it though. No, it's not. <laughs> at the uh, floating mosque uh, it's not really floating but they just give it uh, that name because it, it has been built over water there's a call to prayer going on at the moment um, it's closed until one o'clock so we're just going to grab something to eat we have to rent some clothes before we can go in and I'm a bit hot and sweaty to be wearing me hijab but I'll give anything a go Okay, we haven't been converted. It's okay. Everyone, it's okay. We've um, just been <laughs> dressed in our attire. Yeah, Scott's looking particularly sexy in his little robe and his little hat. And me and my hijab. I'm going to cover my hair and we're about to go on a tour around the mosque. So we've just had a beautiful breakfast. We had our um, roti, uh, curry, and our uh, rosa. So um, you'll see, I'll post photos of those meals as well. Stomach full they and- They were really nice, eh? Nice very, staff and bossy too, eh? Very nice. Cost us 12 ringgit, which, God, it must be a couple of bucks. And it's with iced coffees. Including our coffee ping, our iced coffees. So we've made it to the observatory hill um, and we're going to, of course there's nothing straightforward about us going up anything, so we're going to do the jungle trek. The sign is in the background and um, I would say, what's the time, 5 to 10 and it's pushing 30, this is Singapore type temperatures, we'll be in the early 30 so that uh, roti is going to be burnt off super quick. So, I'll just show you the start of the track. And this is what we're faced with for starters. So, let's go.
just when you thought that you were over the worst of it, voila, some more gets pulled out of the hat. Doesn't seem to be too many people on the beach no. at Kota Kinabalu. We made the beach after going to the, the village on the water. Got a bit lost, even using maps me. So a lovely man in his van with his friends chucked us in and gave us a ride. <laughs> we got a lift with the locals and they didn't kidnap us for our kidneys. Oh, they're really, not really nice. So just as well, we've already clocked up 9Ks and it would have been too far to walk to here. 